Well, if you decided not to brave the crowds on Black Friday, there are a lot of deals starting at midnight for Cyber Monday. That means we have to keep in mind the safety issues involved with shopping online, as well as, you know, those packages on the doorstep. Howard Schwartz joins us now from the Connecticut Better Business Bureau to tell us how to protect ourselves. And a lot of these things are simple, but so many people fall victim to these things. So first of all, let's talk about all the great deals because I know people are excited about that. What, what are we looking at for Cyber Monday, Howard? Well, for Cyber Monday, we should really be looking at the places that we typically shop. And this will give us a baseline on the prices that they charge so that by the time the clock strikes midnight, we know pretty much who's going to be discounting and by how much. It also gives us a chance to have an overview as to how much we're actually saving on our uh, Christmas or, or Hanukkah or holiday menu after you apply these uh, sales, these discounts. So it is very helpful to do so. All right, good stuff. Now, what can we learn from experienced buyers? Well, if we know that if we find a great deal and it's unreasonably low, that you should probably step back. And there are a couple of reasons for that. Because you might, uh, you might get a knockoff, you might get something that's uh, broken, you might get nothing at all and become the victim of identity theft. But also, experienced buyers know that it's a great deal only once you've paid for the shipping and the packing. Mm. And that's where they can get you. Sometimes they're trying to make the, recover the difference uh, in the low price. Now, if you find a high-end product, well-known brand, and it's selling for substantially less than it is everywhere else, you've got to ask yourself a couple of questions. Um, you might become the victim of fraud, as we mentioned. If you see a watch that sells for $500 in most places and it's selling for $250 on another site, that's reason to step back and, and go somewhere else. Really? I'd want to save that cash, Howard. We all do, but you do also <laughs> want to receive something for your cash. Right, right, of course. Um, you know, there are some risks when it comes to shopping online. What information should we put it, be putting out there and what information should we just keep to ourselves and maybe move on to the next website? Ultimately, we should be keeping as much information to ourselves as possible. Sure. And your question about uh, the website, what kind of uh, the dealings with it, the essential issues here are where are you going, how are you getting there, and how are you paying? So if you look at how are you going, it's not wise to click on a link to get to a retailer if that link comes from an unsolicited email, mm. or you find it online, or um, if, for example, uh, it's a lookalike name. Uh, to a legitimate company. It might come in a text or an email. Now, the thing is, uh, as to where you shop, go to a reputable site. You're going to be a lot safer. Um, the other thing is if you get to a site by clicking on links in social media or texts, you could be taken to a place that will download malware or ask you for some unusually personal questions, including that little code you get on the back of your card. But we've heard stories of people being asked for their social security number, which absolutely makes no sense whatsoever. No, no retailer needs that. And no retailer needs that, no individual needs that. <laughs> and uh, then we get down to mode of payment, credit card versus debit. Go for credit card because if you're using debit card and there is fraud, they can empty out your bank account and that has happened. Some good stuff. Any other tips that we need to know about? Well, you mentioned deliveries. Let's remember, keep that in mm, mind for a yes. second. Arrange if you can if something's going to be arriving. Someone can steal it from your doorstep. So I would give that to a trusted friend or neighbor or relative to pick up themselves or have it sent to the office so you can watch out for that. Um, the other tips we have is look for the HTTPS and a little padlock graphic. The S means that you've arrived on a site that is secure. So if you give uh, your, inf your uh, credit card information out, it will not be intercepted by a second person. Don't give your information away. That's what we were talking about a minute ago. Right. Uh, watch out for sites that ask way too much. You should not be giving them your PIN number for your card. Um, sign up for alerts. It's not too late today because a lot of these retailers will have coupons and deals also on social media. Mm. Poke around the websites you intend to visit. See how they work because every minute counts. This is important. Uh, research the exchange returns policy because if it is a gift and it breaks, some retailers will actually allow that merchandise to be re returned to a physical location. You oh, don't have great. to send it back and pay for it. Um, watch your bank statements very carefully, not right. only for mistakes, but for charges that should not be there. And finally, don't worry. If you haven't bought it, if you haven't purchased it yet so far, there's plenty of time to go, and some prices will drop substantially as the year goes on. Some good advice, especially because I remember last year, this is when that target breach happened, and a lot of people were really concerned about their financial information, so you just got to be careful out there, especially this time of year when everyone knows that 
there's a lot of commerce going on. And there are a lot of people asking for our cell phone number, our email address, mm. and, and to sign up for all sorts of things. Ask yourself, do I want to be receiving marketing email? Do I want people calling me on my cell phone? Will I know how this information is being shared and how it's going to be used? All right, good stuff. Thank you, Howard. Always good to see you. Great tips. Let, I'll get your pen here. <laughs> Thank you for, for more information, you can always head to our website, wteenage.com. Just click on that on-air tab. Pull it down to the Good Morning Connecticut weekend section.